everyone, how's it going? This is Ian. So previously I did uh, Instagram live videos, my first one ever, and I think it went pretty good, but I rambled on a lot and my ADHD got the best of me. So I wanna do another video on here, more in depth, more detail, and more precise. So I'm not everywhere. It's just gonna be all in one spot. You can see how to make refrigerator dill pickles and it'll be a, a quick five minute video and I hope you enjoy. All right, let's sort of talk about what we're gonna need for these refrigerator dill pickles. So we need some white vinegar, some white sugar. As far as sugar goes, you probably use honey or maple syrup will work just fine. We're only using like a teaspoon of it, so don't need too much. Some kosher salt, same with salt, you can use Iodine salt, you can use sea salt. It's whatever you have on hand. I do fermenting, so I use the kosher salt. I'm gonna throw in some garlic cloves from the garden, fresh dill from the garden, and then also, because I like a little punch to it, a little bit of hot peppers. These are actually uh, Hungarian hots. I also just picked from the garden. And then, of course, the main ingredient, the cucumbers. It's cucumbers today, I'm just gonna do. You can also see with this that, you know, they are refrigerated and you don't have to can them. You don't need an actual canning jars. Like these jars, you don't need them. You can just use a normal jar. I'm used, just using the leftover olive jar. So just get your cucumbers cut up, put it in there, and it'll make, start making the brine. So as far as the brine goes, it's gonna be two cups of water, water. And then we're gonna go one cup of white vinegar. I'm sure you can use different vinegars. Like uh, I've seen some people use a white wine vinegar or rice wine vinegar. It's just whatever your taste is. I'm just using white vinegar because that's a base one, right? So we got that. And now we're gonna go one tablespoon of salt. Salt in there. Salt. And then we're going one teaspoon sugar. I'm just going one third of a tablespoon. Eyeball it. That's in there. Cut up that uh, Hungarian hog and put it right into the brine itself right into the brine itself so that some of that heat is released so go ahead put the brine on or enough for the salt to start to dissolve so cucumbers simple as cutting the coins whatever you like really and then toss it in the jar I like to put a bit of cucumbers at the bottom of the jar and then start layering in my dill and my garlic. All right, so next up, got some of those cucumbers cut up. Next, I'm gonna use the garlic from the garden. So I did two types of garlic this year. I did music, which as everyone knows is a hard neck garlic. And then also this one is, uh, this one's called a German red, which once you get the peel off, Still looks like a normal clove of garlic, but it's a cool look. Outside looks really cool. Sometimes you gotta give it a little bit of brute force. Let the garlic know who's boss. A fresh dill, cut up a bit. Toss it in the jar. Barely push down. Should be lovely. All right, clean up my space. Gonna make everything nice and tidy. Just gonna cut these ones into wedges or spears. Is it a spear or is it a wedge? Maybe it's both.
Yeah, a couple in there. And then you can keep, reuse that brine. You don't have to do any canning. And for the most part, it seems pretty quick and easy. You can see that brine has now nicely dissolved the salt and sugar. So let it cool down for a minute and we're back to pour it on top of the cucumbers. All right, so since that brine's cooled down a bit, go ahead and pour it, pour it over our cucumbers. And so we're gonna leave this to brine out on the counter for about, for about a day or so, just so it cools down and then put it in the fridge and let it hang out in the fridge for about four or five days, just so it picks up that vinegar and salt flavor. Everything marries together nicely. Hey everyone, so if you found that video helpful, go ahead, like, and subscribe to get more content like this. More content like these refrigerator pickles. They're great, you can reuse the brine over and over again. You don't even have to put pickles into them. You can throw a kohlrabi or other vegetables into them and it works just as long as your fridge works. It's great. All right, have a good one.